Geometry links in any activity. So let's start in any activity and start straight off by putting in a geometry link. So here we go under insert geometry link. Um, a little box appears here and the sort of link icon. Now we'll put in the equation of a parabola. Y is equal to X squared here and I'll tap execute. And um, let's then insert beneath it a geometry strip. So insert strip one, a geometry strip. So these two tend to work hand in hand together. We need to turn on the axes uh, with some grid in the background. So repeatedly tapping onto the dot icon up here. And then I'm going to take uh, our function and drag it into the downstairs window and release and the graph is drawn. Now the magic of this little strip is that if I select this parabola and maybe translate it a couple of units to the left and maybe down one unit, notice what happens instantaneously. The geometry link up here has reflected the change we make down here. Let's move it four units over to the right. So if I drag this about four units to the right, then the equation's updated and so on. Alternatively, I can modify the coefficients up here. So I'm going to change that to a three and tap execute. And then it works the other way around. Changes to the function here are reflected in the uh, graph below. Um, there's other things that we can do. Let's insert another geometry link. We can have plenty going on in the same window. And in the downstairs window, I'm going to pop a point at um, maybe around negative one one just on this um, point here with the grid on we've got snap to grid so everything's kind of working in nice integer multiples now if i get the select tool and tap onto a and drag a up into this window you'll see it's given me the coordinates of a point so let's add another one down in here and of course if i move a around then that works so just about every um object that we can draw in geometry we can link to a geometry link uh, let's take another point downstairs so i'll get the point tool and we'll put in um, point b maybe about there and then we'll link them up with a uh, line segment from a to b and then i'll head off to the measurement toolbar tap onto this line and ask it for the equation of the line um, now Upstairs, I just need a couple more geometry links. So I'm going to put in a geometry link. To that link, I'm going to tap onto B so that we've got the equation of the, the coordinates of the two points. And then I'll put in a third geometry link. And this one's going to be the equation of the line here. So when I drag it up, um, there it is. And now we can watch what happens if I move B. Maybe I'll move B uh, over to here then you can see the equation of the line has been updated. Maybe I'll tap off, tap onto A, move A up to here, and the equation moves. Or we can simply modify a point by tapping on it in the upstairs window and pressing execute, and everything kind of updates. We actually don't even need the geometry window open downstairs for this to work. So let's try what happens if we have a point at negative 2, 2 and three negative one when I tap execute, the equation of the line is automatically updated.